Using PowerPoint with NVDA. Using PowerPoint with NVDA. Hey guys, what is up? V Queen back here with another awesome video in this series and this may very well be the last video in the series as depending on if i find out any other little information that i think will be useful to you that i might put in another video but in this video we'll be doing some wrapping up we'll be doing animations transitions and presenting the whole slideshow now the first thing i want to get into into this video is presenting your whole slideshow there are two ways to start your slideshow. You can either go press alt, go up into the menu, right arrow to the slideshow tab, and then tab until you hear start slideshow. But there is a quick keystroke, and that is your F5. So I'm currently on my slide one, so let me let you hear that. Slide one left paren, Jamaica right paren, dash slide view. Okay, so now, Let's do F5 to start my slideshow. Slideshow dash slide one left paren, Jamaica right paren. Jamaica the land of wood and water, lots of sunshine and a tropical paradise. And you realize the screen reader reads everything on that slide. So F5 is the key in which you use to start your slideshow from the beginning. Now, in order to go to the next side, you can either use your space bar. So let me use space bar here. Slideshow dash slide two left paren, a map of Jamaica right paren, a map of Jamaica content placeholder figure one an illustration of the map of Jamaica. And you realize the screen reader reads out the alt text, or I can use my enter key. Slideshow dash slide three left paren, location right paren, location facts about the location of Jamaica facts about the location of Jamaica continent North America part of the Caribbean the Greater Antilles. Now, if your screen reader is going a bit too fast and you want to go back to something on the slide to point it out to the persons you are presenting to. What you can do is use your arrow keys to go through the things on the slide one by one. So let me do Ctrl plus home to go to the top of the slide. Location. Now let's use my down arrow key. Facts about the location of Jamaica. And remember this was a table, I added a little heading in the table. Facts about the location of Jamaica. Continent. North America, part of the Caribbean, the Greater Antilles, the Greater Antilles. And you realize that's the last item on the slide. Now, let me do spacebar to go to the next slide. Slideshow dash slide four left paren, population right paren, population bullet approximately three million persons. And now spacebar again. Slideshow dash complete, slideshow dash complete. And it says slideshow complete, but you're actually not out of the slideshow yet. It actually has you on a little window that says slideshow complete. What you have to do in order to exit the slideshow is either press spacebar or enter again, or you can use your escape key. So let's do that. Jamaica dash PowerPoint. Slide four left paren, population right paren, dash slide view. Now, one other quick keystroke I want to show you. If you did a presentation and you only made it through, let's say halfway, so you made it to only slide three so let me go up to slide three slide three left paren location right paren dash slide view and you come back a uh, second day to finish the presentation and you don't want to start all the way over from the start of the slideshow you want to start from slide three the quick keystroke to start your slideshow from the current slide is shift plus f5 so let's do that slideshow dash slide three left paren location right paren Location facts about the location of Jamaica facts about the location of Jamaica continent North America part of the Caribbean the Greater Antilles. And you realize it started directly from the slide that you are on. So now I can escape to exit the slideshow and let's get into some more fun stuff. Jamaica dash PowerPoint. Slide three left paren, location right paren, dash slide view. Okay, so the first thing I want to get into is some animations. For text on your slide or for any picture or chart you want to have, you can have animations for them. So you can have either the picture um, entering by fading or fade out or it just appears up or I don't know, it's bouncing or something. You can have that. 
even though that's mostly for visual persons but if you're doing a presentation for visual persons you can do it so let me go to the slide that i have that picture on slide two left paren a map of jamaica right paren dash slide view now i'm going to tab until i get to the object placeholder which i have the picture in because if you're not selected on that text or the object that you want the animation on it would say unavailable when you go into animations tab so let me tap down to that picture title placeholder shape a map object placeholder shape figure one an illustration of the map of jamaica now let's go into my menu so alt ribbon tabs tab control collapsed home tab alt h2 of 11. now let's right arrow until i hear animations insert tab alt and 3 of 11. design tab alt G4 of 11. Transitions tab alt, K5 of 11. Animations tab alt, A6 of 11. Then I'll click enter. Lower ribbon grouping. Animations grouping. Preview grouping. Preview split button collapsed play the animations on this slide. Then I will tab. Animation styles button pick an animation to apply to objects selected on this slide. And this is where I would enter to put the animation on that object. So enter. Animation styles data grid. None grouping. None no animation is in use. 1 of 52. Now I'm going to use my down arrow to go down in this list. Entrance grouping. Appear not selected text or object appears. 2 of 52. So I can make it appear. Shape not selected text or object fills in from the edges of a specified shape and appears. 8 of 52. Or I can choose that. Bounce not selected text or object bounces into view from the upper dash left corner. 14 of 52 and i can make it bounce so let me just press that we don't have to go through all the lists you can go through it and choose what you want it to do slide two left paren a map of jamaica right paren dash slide view and it takes me out of the menu but what i want to also point out to you is that in that same menu if you tap down just a little more there are different things in which you can do in which to set the animation at what time after you go onto the new slide you want the animation to start so if you want it to start two seconds after you go on to that slide in the slideshow or if you only want it to bounce for three seconds or you want it to bounce for the whole duration of the slideshow you can go in and change all those different stuff to do with the animation now let's get right into transitions press your alt key again Ribbon tabs tab control collapsed. Home tab alt, H2 of 10. Now let's go to your transitions tab. Insert tab alt, and design tab alt, transitions tab alt, K5 of 10. Press enter. Lower ribbon grouping. Transitions grouping. Preview grouping. Preview button unavailable play the transition to this slide. Tab. Transition effects button pick a special effect for the transition between the previous slide and this one. Now, with this button what we can do is change how it transitions from one slide to the next so if you want it to wipe away if you want the previous slide to fade out and the next slide fading you want a quick swipe or something like that some cool effect this is where we would go in so i press enter here transition effects data grid subtle grouping none the slide doesn't have a transition effect one of 49 then i'll down arrow Random bars not selected the previous slide disappears beneath a wave of random bars, revealing the current slide. 9 of 49. Exciting grouping. Fall over not selected the previous slide falls over, revealing the current slide. Drape not selected the previous slide is obscured by the current slide that drapes over it. 15 of 49. By the way, I must note to you, this list is not just going down so you can use both your right and down arrows to go through this list so let me choose this option the drapes jamaica dash powerpoint slide two left paren a map of jamaica right paren dash slide view but i must note you that only applies that transition to this single slide but if you want to apply it to all slides, I'll show you that what we'll do later on. But I want to add a transition sound as well. So let me go right back up into that menu. Ribbon tabs tab control insert design transitions tab alt cave lower ribbon grouping transition tab transition effects button pick a effect options collapse change to a variation of the selected transition variations tab. timing grouping. Sound combo box left bracket no sound right bracket collapsed pick a sound to play during the transition from the previous slide to this one. Alt, K, U. Now I would enter on here. Left bracket no sound right bracket 1 of 22. 
and down arrow. Left bracket stop previous sound right bracket 2 of 22. Down arrow. Applause 3 of 22. Mm. Arrow 4 of 22. All right, let me choose this one, so press enter. Sound combo box arrow collapsed pick a sound to play during the transition from the previous slide to this one. Alt, K, U. Then escape. Slide 2 left paren, a map of Jamaica right. But I still want to show you something else in that menu, so let me go right back up to it. And a quick keystroke, instead of just doing Alt and going through that menu, you can do Alt, K. So, K. Then you tab through. Lower ribbon grouping, transitions grouping, preview grouping, preview button, transition effect, effect options, timing grouping, sound combo box, grouping specify the length of the transition, duration spin button specify the length of the transition, 02.00 edit selected 02.00. And I really recommend you keep it at the um, 02.00 or less because if you have your sound being too long it will be overpowering the screen reader while it starts to read whatever is on the slide so i recommend that you don't keep it too long at all next apply to all button apply the current slides transition effects and timing settings to the entire presentation and if you click enter on here it will apply that same arrow and the little drape transition that i did for this slide on all the slides so let me click enter slide two left paren a map of jamaica right paren dash slide view so now let me start the slideshow from the beginning and let you hear how it sounds slideshow dash slide one left paren jamaica right paren jamaica the land of wood and water lots of sunshine and a tropical paradise slideshow dash slide one left paren jamaica right paren Jamaica the land of wood and water, lots of sunshine and a tropical paradise. Slideshow dash slide 2 left paren, a map of Jamaica right paren. A map of Jamaica content placeholder figure 1 an illustration of the map of Jamaica. I don't know if you heard it, but the arrow sound is, it was a bit quick, but you heard it. Slideshow dash slide 3 left paren, location right paren. Location facts about the location of Jamaica facts about the location of Jamaica continent North America part of the Caribbean the Greater Antilles. So now let me escape out of this slideshow. I have one more thing to show you before I end this video. Jamaica dash PowerPoint. Slide one left paren. Jamaica right paren. Dash slide view. Okay. Now, what if you just want to have a full presentation all the way through? in which you don't have to be moving to the next slide by using your spacebar or your enter key. You just want it to run smoothly all the way through with your timings. There is a way to rehearse all your timings when you hear the screen reader speak. Let me show you how you do that. So you go into the menu. Ribbon tabs tab control collapse. Right arrow to slideshow. Insert tab, design tab, transition, animation, slideshow tab alt, S7 of 10. Enter. Lower ribbon grouping. Slideshow grouping. Start slideshow grouping. From beginning button start the show from the first slide. Alt, S, B. Then tab through. From current slide button, present online split button. Custom slideshow collapsed show. Set up grouping. Set up slideshow. But hide slide toggle button not pre. Rehearse timings button practice makes perfect. Start the full dash screen slideshow to figure out the perfect timing for each slide. As you rehearse your presentation, PowerPoint will record how much time you spend on each slide. Once you get the timings right, you can use them to run the show automatically. Alt, S, T. And this is that special option that we're looking for. And before I press enter, I want to let you know, as soon as you press enter, as soon as your screen reader finishes reading whatever is on that slide, you press your spacebar or your enter key quickly so that it moves to the next slide. And you do that for every slide until it's finished so that it gets the timing perfectly. So let's press enter on this. Slideshow dash slide one left paren, Jamaica right paren. Jamaica the land of wood and water, lots of sunshine and a tropical paradise. Slideshow dash slide two left paren, a map of Jamaica right paren. A map of Jamaica content placeholder figure one an illustration of the map of Jamaica. Slideshow dash slide 3 left paren, location right paren, 
Location facts about the location of Jamaica facts about the location of Jamaica continent North America part of the Caribbean the Greater Antilles. Slideshow dash slide 4 left paren, population right paren, population bullet approximately 3 million persons. Microsoft PowerPoint dialog the total time for your slideshow was 0 colon 0 0 colon 32. Do you want to save the new slide timings? Yes button alt plus y. I will enter on here. Jamaica dash PowerPoint. Slide 1 left paren, Jamaica right paren, dash slide view. And I didn't know if you realized, but when I was changing from the slide which I had the picture on, which had the animation on it, I was pressing my spacebar, but it wouldn't change the slide till a time after that. And I suspect that that is because the time for which the animation on the picture must continue must have been a little longer than at the time that I wanted the slide to be for. So you can always go in and edit that under the animation tab. But let me do the slideshow now. Let me press F5 and not press any spacebar, any enter. Let it just run through, straight through automatically and see how it was rehearsed well. Let's go. Slideshow dash slide one left paren, Jamaica right paren. Jamaica the land of wood and water, lots of sunshine and a tropical paradise. Slideshow dash slide 1 left paren, Jamaica right paren. Jamaica the land of wood and water, lots of sunshine and a tropical paradise. Slideshow dash slide 2 left paren, a map of Jamaica right paren. A map of Jamaica content placeholder figure 1 an illustration of the map of Jamaica. Slideshow dash slide 3 left paren, location right paren. Location facts about the location of Jamaica facts about the location of Jamaica continent North America part of the Caribbean the Greater Antilles. Slideshow dash slide 4 left paren, population right paren, population bullet approximately 3 million persons. And it's finished there and I'll just press my spacebar. Jamaica dash powerpoint, slide 1 left paren, Jamaica right paren, dash slide view. But I have no idea why it repeats the first slide when I do it and there it is guys that is the end of the slideshow and that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned a lot from this series if there is anything else that you want to know about what to do in this PowerPoint interface be sure to comment down below or if there's anything else that I find out I'll be sure to make another video in this series so that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to be alerted when I post the next video in this series. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on it. I'll see you guys next time.